Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to do this interesting complex equation using Lambert W functions, so stay tuned. Okay, we have an interesting complex equation. The question is solve for z, that is complex number. We have 2 times i minus z, i is i to the power of z. Okay, so first of all, let's rewrite this, right? So i to the power of z. This is the same as, let me pull this i out, 2 minus z times i. So let me call this k as 2 minus z. So that we can represent your z is then going to be um, 2 minus k. Okay, so let's work this out using this expression, right? Then we have i to the power of z, which is 2 minus k. So we have i to the power of 2 minus k. This is going to be equal to then k times i. So eventually we'll be using Lambert W function. So let's make a form of it, right? So this, from this, we can say i now squared times i to the power of negative k. This is equal to now ki. So that is why this is the same as the negative i squared is negative 1. So negative i to the power of negative k. This is now then the ki. Okay, then this is the same as then um, negative i to the power of just the k is the reciprocal of it, which is 1 over ki. Okay. And then let's multiply k to both the left and the right hand side, right? Then it is negative k times i to the power of k is equal to 1 over just the i. Making sure all of these is related to making a form of Lambert W function. Okay, so 1 over i has to be equal to just the negative i if you multiply i to both the numerator and denominator. And then if you multiply negative sign to both the left and right hand side, then it should be then the k times i to the power of just the k. This is equal to just the i. And then we can rewrite this as k times k times i to the power of k is the same as then the e to the power of k times ln of i, right? So k times now e to the power of k times ln of this i. This is just equal to the i on the right hand side. Okay, then from this, let me rewrite this ln of i as pi i over 2, right? So your equation is now looking like k times e to the power of, now pi i over 2 times k, that is equal to just the i on the right hand side. Okay, then just one more step before we apply Lambert W function. Let me multiply pi i over 2 to the left and the right hand side of this equation, right? So it should be looking like then uh, pi over 2 times k times e to the power of pi i over 2 times k. This is equal to pi i over 2 times just the i, which seems like only negative pi over 2. Okay, so this left hand side is now equal to negative pi over 2. We can apply Lambert W function, right? So the Lambert W function of now z e to the power of z is just equal to z, right? So apply Lambert W function, then we can say pi i over 2 times now k, right? This has to be the same as Lambert W of n of negative pi over 2. Okay, then k was equal to 2 minus z, so let's put this back. Pi i over 2 times, now your k was 2 minus z, that is equal to Lambert W n of negative pi over now 2. So that is why your 2 minus z is, because we're getting the value of the z eventually, right? So 2 minus z has to be equal to Lambert W n of negative pi over 2 over this pi i over 2. Okay, so that's why this has to be the same as 2 times lambda wn of negative pi over 2 over only pi i. 
And if you multiply i to both the numerator and denominator, this is the same as then uh, negative 2i. And then w and of negative pi over 2. Now over just the pi. Okay, then your z has to be equal to 2 plus that entire term. 2i times lambda w of n of negative pi over 2. That over just the pi. Okay, and at the same time, your n has to be an integer. So this is an expression for the value of the z. Including the real solutions and also the complex solutions too. But then again, if you're only interested in the real solutions, right? We will have only two real solutions, knowing how w0 of negative pi over 2. This is the same as just a i pi over 2. So in this case, your z is going to be now then the 2 uh, plus uh, 2i over now pi. That times i pi over 2. So we can cancel this 2's out, pi's out. i squared is negative 1, so this is equal to just the 1. So 1 is one of the two real solutions. The other one has to be based on uh, w of negative 1 of negative pi over 2. This is the same as negative of i pi over 2. So that is why now that the z value of w negative 1. This looks like okay, the 2. And then plus 2i over pi times negative of i pi over 2. So also cancel these 2s and pi's out. Negative of i squared is positive 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So 1 and 3 are the real solutions. Everything else based on this expression has to be complex solutions. Okay, so pretty interesting complex equations. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.